top five Excel features. Number three, tables and filters. There's a difference between something that looks like a table and something that is a table, at least in Excel's point of view. Once you've finished adding data to Excel, you can specifically tell Excel that you've made a data table, which unlocks a variety of new options to play with. Select your data and head to the Insert tab and click on Table. Tell it the headers you already have are the ones you intend to use for your table. The first thing you'll notice is a new colour scheme which can be edited and customised in the Design tab that has now appeared on the ribbon. The second is the appearance of arrow buttons on your data headers. These are filters that allow you to change what is being displayed in your table. For example, I might choose to see only data that is about a specific product. Of course, information that isn't being displayed is not deleted or lost, it's just filtered out. To restore everything to view, you can clear the filters using the same arrow button. But you can also apply filters to data that isn't officially in a table in Excel's mind. Just click on the filter button in the data tab and Excel will start filtering anything that looks like a table in the same way. Note that the cell you've selected when you press the filter button must be inside the block of data you want to filter. You can also select a specific column and just filter that. This feature is mainly useful when there's a large amount of data and you only want to look a part of it. For example, I can use the filters to find some specific entry in a big set of data if I know some of the details of what I'm looking for. If I want to know some information about my data but only concerning a certain part, I can filter to that part, then select a column to see information on the remaining data in the status bar at the bottom of the screen. Note that for summing up numbers there is a better way to do this, which we'll be showing you in an upcoming video. It can also save you development time. Rather than making five sheets with data on each of your departments, you could just have everything in one sheet and filter for certain departments when you want to see their data. Neater, easier to analyse as a whole and only takes a few seconds to set up. So that's tables and filters. To see what we think is even better, head to the next video.